And welcome back to another episode of Straight Talk. And just really quickly, we want to give a shout out to our sponsor. The show has been sponsored by Goltex. Shop at Goltex this holiday season for all your children's needs. They carry brand names like Juicy Couture, mm, Roby's and Perigo, and a lot of other brands have actually been there. It's a fantastic store if you're looking for a good quality gift for your child. They carry everything. So uh, now we'll go to Goltex for sponsoring another episode of Straight Talk. And we're going to get right back into the show. We right. want to wrap up on this casino issue, but we do have poll results. First poll the results. The first poll results from last week were, do you think the Mohawk Council is discriminating against the Owista lottery? The results showed that yes, 71% said yes, 29% said no, and undecided came in at zero. There was nobody undecided, so very strong opinions yes, there. And 71% yes. said that they felt that MCK was, was discriminating. Discriminating, discriminating against it. That's, that's a high percentage. Yeah. So the op opinion there. Says a lot. Kind of <laughs> says, says a lot. lot, yeah. So in this week's poll, mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we did come up with something over the break. So um, you guys want to... Oh, how do you feel? Do you yeah. feel that the, the money that's been spent on assessments uh, in, in phase one and two mm -hmm. of uh, investigating the... Um, the idea of a, a land-based casino in mm -hmm. in Ganawage. Do you feel that the money that's been invested um, is is a waste or is uh, money well spent? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, or undecided. Yes. Let us know. Waste uh, or warranted. Warranted, and then undecided. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of a yes, no, we're gonna have words this week. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so let's have enough of this. I think we've discussed it enough and yes. really we want to discuss it because we want the community, I believe people are already discussing this around their kitchen tables, which is, you know, which is important. So, um, with that, the holiday season is right here. We only have just two, three weeks away shopping. Have you guys started your Christmas shopping? Yep. I've kind of done a moratorium mm -hmm. this year on Christmas shopping. I told everybody in my family, don't buy me anything. And I won't buy you anything except for the little kids. Mm -hmm. You know, that's who it's for anyway. From right. again, according to myself, it's and and of course my own. I have like my own child and a couple of things like that. Yeah. Like, but I mean, I don't think because my child is older now. It's the the magic of Christmas is much. I I I want to experience it with my 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 nieces and nephews and yeah, uh, the, the, the children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and and I want to be together with my family and I want to eat some great food and that's yeah. all I that's all I want for Christmas <laughs> I, I've taken the opposite approach <laughs> you've done a lot of shopping uh, yeah I think like, <laughs> I mean like uh, like almost everyone in Ganage like big families yes. like I feel like during this time like I just want to give maybe I don't have like some I don't have a lot of money to give a lot but mm -hmm. I've been doing like a lot of uh, buying stuff to make homemade gifts mm -hmm. And then, of course, like buying for like my, my sister, my mom, my, right. my boyfriend, like spoiling wow. them. Mm -hmm. Homemade gifts with your schedule. How do you find the time? Because I know <laughs> that you're working here, you're doing other stuff, you're in school, you're in exams right now. It's... Well, right now I've been preparing. I've been doing a lot of <laughs> online shopping. I'm mm -hmm. waiting for everything to come in. Mm -hmm. And then it's like that week before Christmas where I'm going to go crazy. Like, like the mad dash, right? Yeah, I think right. everybody experiences that every year. Mm -hmm. So... Well, I'm hoping, like I said, like for me, it's like I am making some home. I'm going to be doing some baking and different things like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I'm really not going to be. I don't feel that um, econom economic wise for myself that I can really put out a lot of stuff mm -hmm. there. Like I said, I'm, um, it, to me, it's the thought that counts at this point. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do that. And like I said, I'm going to spend time with my, my, my family and my friends mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy the holiday. Yeah. More than anything else. I'm just looking forward to the break. I don't know how I get through every day. I'm not even kidding. I'm so busy that, you know, I wish I had like a clone sometimes, you know, to like, just like get me through like all the work that, that, you know, that I've been doing. But, um, mm -hmm. so I am looking, you know, we're taking a short hiatus here, so we won't be taping between Christmas and New Year's, which is great. And then, um... You know, I'm like, I really like look forward to the holidays. My kids are getting older, so Ashton 
is just starting to like be leaving the whole Santa thing and mm -hmm. he understands it mm -hmm. and he's like mom I made my list and you know his list is like looking at the commercials and being like mom can I have that mom can I have that and it's like damn you treehouse or Nickelodeon you know? it's not like, like the, the Sears catalog yeah, he's that. looked at the Sears, he's looked at the Toys R Us, you know, the public side mm -hmm. comes in. So he's kind of made his list already. And then we, we did this like really cute um, video. I don't know if we can show it or not, but it was like, you know, where I went online and got Santa to send him like a personalized mm -hmm. message. So he was like, hi, Ashton, have you been a good boy this year? And my son was just like, ah, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but with Gracie, because she's only like two and a half, like she doesn't really get it. She kind of plays yeah. off yeah. of him. Yeah. You know what I mean? She'll be like jingle bells. Like it's it's like it's just when your kids are you know you're right. When your kids are small, it has a different kind of meaning because right. it's like there's this whole magic in the holiday, yeah. and it just like you know it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. So I'm in that stage, and you know yeah. And I'd also great. like to um, uh, mention that uh, this is the time of year where a lot of people don't have mm -hmm. um, a lot of what we've been fortunate. To have, including family, including yeah. including the the finances to be able to, you know, purchase our friends and loved ones um, mm -hmm. some gifts and stuff like that. And one of the big initiatives this year I found was the uh, the Christmas baskets here in Ganawage. Yeah, there was something like over eighty families that they have applied for or or are going to be receiving the 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 holiday Christmas baskets. Mm -hmm. And um, and I've noticed that a lot of the fundraising that goes on normally during this time of year, mm -hmm. a lot of the proceeds are going towards... To the, the Christmas, Christmas basket fund, right. I know yeah. that there's there's a few in the community, like I know Cafe Delight is doing something. Mm -hmm. I know Virginia Stand Up and Chunkies is doing a food drive. Um, you know, and community services has really been the driving force behind the Christmas basket fund and all the volunteers and things mm -hmm. like that. So, I mean, it, it is a reality, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think if people can they have the means and they can help out and they can give then by all means you know mm -hmm. do do it i know and seven generations is have you know has a box that parents yes. can even if it's in. not if even if it's not monetarily or with food you right. can you can donate some time because yeah. i know they they appreciate people going into volunteering to help make up those christmas baskets and help separate and different things like right. that to do some collecting mm -hmm. um of of the goods you right. know so there's different things like that and i'm not sure exactly who you would get in contact um, to do that, but I'm sure like you can, it's, it's, it's a couple of calls, yeah. call it KSCS, call it the, maybe, uh, cause I know Orville stand up yeah. is one of the, uh, his, uh or Orville, and... Orville is a stand, Orville yeah, Dibble. It's, it's stand up. Stand up? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, Orville. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he's doing the, you know, like he does a lot of the, yeah. um, so I mean, there's definitely a drive. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the other thing too, is that. You know, tis the season to be jolly, and there's a lot of Christmas parties happening from now until the and with New yes. Year coming in. So I mean, it's a great time of year for a lot of people, and but we always have to be cautious, you know, and and mindful. think about and yeah, you know, mindful of of over celebrating. So mm -hmm. we do. And that's, have, and that's drinking drinking alcohol. A lot of people yeah. chose. A lot of people choose to celebrate the holidays. Uh, by having parties mm -hmm. and by having get-togethers and at those parties and get-togethers office parties and so on and so forth right. they do serve alcohol so mm -hmm. it's uh, kind of been a given I'm not saying that um, people can't have a great time of course you can without, have a of course service. you can yeah. you can have a with or without I kind of tend right. to do both so <laughs> yeah so I mean um, so just bear that in mind and what we're doing at uh, at uh, KSCS along with the peacekeepers and MCK is that we do uh, urge people to um, designate a driver. We do a designated mm -hmm. driver campaign every year. Right. And what we do is we partner with the different alcohol serving establishments in our community and offer them um, tips and plans and strategies in order to put a designated driver program in mm -hmm. the um, in, in the establishments, but right. also out to the community. If you're having a, 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 a home, a party at home mm -hmm. or you're going out with a bunch of friends just to dinner yeah. and so on and so forth designate somebody in your party or designate somebody that you're celebrating with to be the designated driver drink non-alcoholic beverages all night mm -hmm. and help get everybody safe home at the end of the evening Yeah, because there's always that that other side that you don't have to or if you do that's great but have a plan in place is what exactly. you're saying and I think most people can be mindful in this day and age if you see a colleague or a friend or a family member that has had too much, you know that somebody, 
you know, most people ask around, like, does that person have a ride home? Or mm-hmm. do you got that person's car? Like, if you're mm-hmm. the sober one in the group or, mm-hmm. you know what and I mean? And today with cell phones, call a taxi. Yeah, you there's know, no that's part of the, there's no excuse anymore. Yeah, there's yeah. one of the, that's, that's part of the, the, the campaign is that we put the numbers out there too for different taxi companies in Ganawage. Mm-hmm. And also, and uh, just as just a point, if you go out to the city, you're in, in and around Ganawage, not in Ganawage, but outside of Ganawage, if you are out and um, you find yourself uh, having had too much to drink, mm-hmm. you can call Operation Red Nose, which is the region. Right. You know, like so. If you're in Montreal, will they bring you back to Ganawage? Yeah, as far as I know, I've called downtown, them and they, or... they will bring you oh, back to Ganawage. Okay. But, but if you're in Ganawage, we don't have Operation uh, Red Nose in Ganawage. Right. Uh, but we do have local taxi services. Yeah. And if you're and if a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. And if you're yeah. and if you're organizing a um, a, a a party, mm-hmm. um, make sure that you have those numbers available, or you can do certain other little strategic tips, like making sure that you have non-alcoholic beverages for those designated drivers. You can hire designated drivers to be there for you. You can hire um, a limousine service, or you can offer maybe um, uh, discounted rates for the local taxi services. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Just something that shows that you care enough about the people that you're celebrating with to make sure that they get home safely. Right. You got that, Jess? No. <laughs> so much information. It is, it is a lot of information, but yeah. really all we're saying is, is to think ahead and um, uh, to think ahead, be responsible, and when it when and if it does come up, that you have an alternate plan in place. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like I just hope that like uh, the youth in Ganawake really take that message home because I know drinking and driving is it happens like all age all ages, but like being a youth, like I see it a lot. Mm-hmm. I see it a lot in the summer. I see it a lot around Christmas, and mm-hmm. I don't want accidents happening. Happening. Yeah, of course. Okay, so we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back to wrap up our show in just a few minutes. Don't go away.